Uh, Jaden, your group, do you want to share your screen? And, uh, yeah, okay, I'll share it now. Share your screen and okay. I, I assume you all can see. <clears throat> yeah, okay. Yeah. Um, so yeah, this is just a basic introduction on uh, the various types of fruits that we have in Malaysia. Mm -hmm. And then okay. Um, so the problem statement is that um, there are, there are lack of workers for short term hire in food uh, fruit picking industry. Um, so during the star fruit, um, the harvesting companies really face a lot of problems because um, they are not able to find workers uh, during the specific harvesting season. Um, they would have to hire them um, on a yearly basis. Um, so in terms of short term hire, that there is lack of workers, and then um, it's a very labor intensive process. So there, there is a lot of uh, long term health issues. Um, there are reports of uh, muscular skeletal disorders and soft tissue disorders mm -hmm. um, in um, harvesting workers. And then um, the staff food is damaged in the harvesting process. Um, so on the exterior skin of the staff food, because you know, um, staff food is soft, um, once the external surface is ripped, the oxidation process becomes a, a lot faster and then uh, the rotting also occurs a lot faster because of that. And then, um, one, uh, some one type of machine causes uh, the bark of the trees to damage, and this affects the um, chl chlorophyll reactions inside the tree as well. Um, okay, so the objective is to reduce the number of fruits damaged by 25%. Um, I think uh, it might be in the report. I think about about 15% of the fruits are damaged. I think. Um, Mm -hmm. It will be in the report I send you later. And then um, to reduce the number of workers needed to harvest the same amount of star fruits as compared to by picking by hand. And then to reduce the harvesting cost by 10%. So this is including um, the operating cost of other machine and also manual labor. And then to reduce the time period taken, uh, taken to harvest a set number of star fruits by 20% compared to hand. And then um, the design scope is that this product can be used in larger orchids of four acres. This design can be used for trees more than four meters tall. Um, this product can last at least half a day before running out of energy. And then um, this machine can harvest our fruits within short periods of time. Okay, and the benefits of this design will reduce the physical strain on star fruit pickers, increases the access of small scale industrial fruit pickers to affordable harvesting machine. Um, as it allows uh, integration of modern methods in harvesting fruit and uh, star fruits, and then provides quality and reliable machinery to local harvesting infrastructure, and then reduces waste generation um, in the harvesting process, and then provides sustainable methods of harvesting with low pollution and power consumption. <clears throat> so this is um, just a table of um, the existing products that we reviewed. So there is this. Um, Vibration shaker, which uh, how it um, uh, how it harvests the star food is by um, there's a sort of like an aggressive vibration which uh, plucks the star food out of the uh, branch, and then um, there is um, electric um, op splits, which well this is uh, actually quite a heavy equipment. There's a lot of wiring, and it's not uh, it's not uh, suitable for uh, harvesting small fruits and then there's a oil palm fruit harvesting machine uh, oil picking machine and then there's a mango harvesting tool which is a, a basic uh, traditional tool there's no electrical components here and then um, this waffler corner apple harvester is uh, not used in Malaysia at all it's only in US <clears throat> as you can see uh, here are all the time consumption uh, for the various um, uh, various types of harvesters. Uh, I assume that I don't need to go into that. Um, okay. So for the stakeholders, uh, that we identified four stakeholders. So it's the uh, orchard management themselves, um, or the 
a company as you would like to call it, and then um, the Ministry of Agriculture and Food Industries. So basically, they do a, a research on how to improve the harvesting of uh, fruits and vegetables in Malaysia, and then they also uh, look into uh, di different types of uh, new inventions, and they also sponsor a lot of new inventions to improve, um, especially in the rural areas um, in Sabah and Sarawak. So they do a lot of uh, R&D there as well. And then um, Agriculture Marketing Authority of Malaysia. So they try, they go overseas and do forums and try to um, try to um, increase um, confidence in um, the overseas market on Malaysian um, food products. So, uh, so they, they have hold a lot of um, forums um, overseas and then these are the staff food uh, harvester worker, workers themselves. So as you can see here, uh, so the number of staff food trees grown on their land, uh, uh, most all of it are less than 1000 based on the survey we got. Um, so this is within the range of um, you know our design. And then um, the size of land is also um, less than 100 acres. All of it is less than 100 acres. Um, so based on this, we can see that it's very tough for um, the staff food workers to cover this uh, within a set amount of time. If they started, yeah, oh, sorry. If they started within, uh, they they will take once they start, they will take about two months to complete 100 acres uh, because uh, most of the staff food workers are only about 80 people uh, based on the report. Um, so by the time a lot of the staff food should actually already be there in fall. So yeah, that, uh, that's why they need a machine to you know increase their productivity rate and efficiency rate so that they can pluck more staff foods. And then, okay. Uh, has the COVID-19 pandemic increased or decreased the number of fruit pickers available to your orchard? Um, yeah, and then 75% um, say that it has decreased. And then um, what is the cost of harvesting the star foods each day, including tools and human labor costs? Um, so most of them said uh, less than a thousand per day. Um, so uh, yeah, this in of, um, also includes the workers' wages as well. So we'll move forward to Ministry of Agriculture and Food Industries. Um, let's see an important one. In the future, how do you think the quality of staff foods will change? Um, so, um, um, so obviously there's a mistake here. I mean the uh, the quality of the harvesting process. I think uh, that was the question, and then um, the answer was better. And okay, what is your opinion about introducing a new invention of staff food harvesting machine? It would provide better opportunities for workers and plantations in the staff food harvesting industry alike to experience and take advantage of technology. So this is uh, Mafi's uh, reply. Um, in your opinion, how can we improve for better production quality of staff foods, provide a new solution which is more efficient and economic to many plantations? Okay, and then here we will go to the workers. Um, so have you or any of your colleagues faced any injuries when picking star fruit? Um, yes. And uh, based on the report, uh, about 25 to 30% of this are uh, caused by them, uh, caused by accidents involving ladders. So this involves um, workers who climb up ladders to high heights and try to pick the star food there and um, basically any incident involving um, ladders for 70, uh, around 70% 70, uh, 70 said uh, they have seen it. And then um, how often do you estimate the injuries occur? 15% um, said weekly, 46% uh, said uh, once every few years and then 38.5% um, said monthly. Then, look here, how tired do you feel after fruit picking for four hours? And uh, about 38.5% said very tired, and then 
how tired do you feel after picking star fruit at the end of your shift? And then um, 69.2% said very tired. Um, so since uh, this harvesting is done every seven days, um, so uh, most workers actually work uh, seven, seven days without a break. Um, as each day goes by, their productivity decreases because um, uh, physically it's very uh, straining and it really affects their productivity, especially later during the day. And this affects the number of star foods uh, picked uh, at the end of the day as well. So the um, overall, as a collective, when you when you when you count the numbers at the end of the housing period, it really adds up to the amount lost. And then 84.6% um, said uh, they would prefer. Uh, a uh, new harvesting machine over current methods of harvesting if it lessens the physical load during the day. Right. Um. Yeah, tri trivia, we want to want to continue present? Uh, yeah, I shall continue from stakeholder priority. Okay. No, no, I didn't. You do that part. I'll do that below one. Sorry? Yeah, just just some 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 of the point you can skip because I already have your file. Just ah. just present. Uh, uh, All right, uh, okay, DJ, you can continue then. Uh, hello, okay. Uh, so, are there are uh, four types of color purple, green, red, and yellow. So, the purple is under eye influence, which is the food management com company, and the green is, is in low interest which is staff fruit pickers and the red is in between, which is Ministry of Food and Agriculture. The yellow is in low interest, Agriculture Marketing Authority. Key down. Next. Jiren, can you present this? I don't think this we need. Okay. Um. Okay, so this is the concept generation. So these are the problems that we found from the survey. The first one is the products are expensive, which is the component and parts. And then it's about the maintenance and clearing. And then uh, the star fruits getting damaged and it takes a uh, longer harvesting time. And it also uh, also we need a uh, danger or emergency uh, button like push to stop button or warning light. Okay, so uh, okay, these are the things that we found. Okay, the tires maybe we should have four tires. The material be rubber, and the position will be the below body. The handling of machine uh, is both machine or end. They can either use machine or they can use hand. The picking mechanism position will be top of the body or side of the pole. And then the type will be have a suction hose and splitter. And then the storage compartment position will be internal and external. And that's uh, the type is net compartment basket and tube. Okay, can you the go to the final design? Can you explain about your final design? Uh, this is our final design, sir, but we already add a few dimensions after our presentation, but we didn't uh, add in our slides. We added in our report. Report, OK. Right. So this is your final design, right? Yes. Sir. And what else in your slides? Um, just now you mentioned about the view, right? There's a view, something. Where, where is the view component? Uh? Oh, um, wait, um, that was in. I'm sorry, I mean, uh, concept generation, I mean, uh, yeah, different. So these are basically different components inside uh, different designs, options. So, you know, some of our uh, concept designs included wheels uh, like this one here and this one here. 
So yeah, it's uh, just basically stating that uh, uh, different designs have their different uh, parts, but our final design did not include it. So this is your 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 final design, okay? Yeah. All right. Okay. Good. Uh, let's go to another group. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Let me share my screen. Share the screen. Just do do it. Uh, uh, don't need to present. Don't don't need to do a full presentation. Uh. Sure, sure. Just 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 give me an important point. What what okay. have you done and all this? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I share my screen. Uh, in this case, we'll not do the full presentation. We'll just go through everything. And then after that, uh, after the short presentation, we'll just have uh, Daniel and Harry to add on. We like miss up anything. So uh, basically, what we when we come up with capsule number one, right? Uh, it's a manual street sweeper. And why we come up with that idea? It's because of the from a Marco view, we noticed that uh, plastic production right, and plastic waste production is increasing uh, every single day, and, and expected to to reach uh, 3.5 million tons of plastic, right? Uh, sorry, <laughs> it's, it's amounting to reach um, 23 percent of the global waste annually, especially from the South and East Asia. So Malaysia as part of the Southeast Asia, this is why we are focusing in this area. And just a little bit introduction about Malaysia and how this plastic uh, waste and all of this waste is going to relate to the things that we're going to do. So, for example, the introduction number one will be flash flood strikes several parts of Kuala Lumpur. And, and we notice that because of this, you know, due to clogged drains, right, plastic, which leads to clogged drains, um, has increasing has increased the amount of uh, floods, especially in, in Klang Valley areas where um, <laughs> all the roads has been uh, clogged, <laughs> something like that. And from an animal point of view, from from an environment point of view, we noticed that uh, plastic has a. Sorry, I think I think I should zoom bigger so you can see. Yeah, okay. Uh, from an environment point of view, plastic has also caused um, danger right, towards the the species, especially towards seabirds, and especially when they consume all of this uh, microplastics and plastics out of a, out of a, uh, the ocean, right? And this is where we the the experts predict that ninety percent of them have um, ingested, all right. Uh, plastics and it leads to uh, decreasing amount of seabirds due to death of, of the seabirds. And this is where we, we sum up the problem statement, especially in Malaysia, how we position ourselves is because um, when we look into clock drains, we often not just look into how can we um, purify right the water all right, uh, from the clock drains, but we also look into how can we uh, increase the efficiency in terms of the way we collect uh, debris, the way we collect waste. And, and this is a few problem statement. In Malaysia, it's slightly different than other countries, all right? Because Malaysia, we heavily rely on rakes, number one, and second would be manual. Manual as in human labor. Instead of uh, other countries, they are adopting um, the, all of these automated machines. And, and we understand from Malaysian point of view, cost can be the issue. And the road conditions can also be another part of the issues because Malaysia, we have, uh, I wouldn't say a lot, but we do have roads that are quite uneven. We have, we have roads that are known as kampung roads, slightly smaller. Hence the reason why it's not the most effective way to come up with um, uh, automated sweeping machines. And of course, these kind of robots are best when it comes to a large coverage area. But in Malaysia, we have more narrow roads, uneven surface and, and costs. And uh, they're playing part of this role. So our objective is to increase the coverage of a traditional uh, rake Ease the cleaning process because for rigs you have to put in a dust dust bin, right? Uh, dust pan and the dust pan has to throw it into the plastic bag. So the dust pan, the, the storage itself is quite limited, and we want to increase the storage of the dust pan to create a product that can collect both fine and large storage waste. Because if you can notice, uh, rigs they are quite uh, inefficient in in terms of collecting finer particles, for example, sand, right? For example, um, because of their increase in you know, width between all these jaws, and this hence the reason why they are they might be good for leaves, yes, but they are not so uh, friendly when it comes to collecting sands. And sands is one of the major issues or major cause of uh, clogged drains, right? And landslides, right? Not to mention landslides. So. Just to screen, uh, we just want to highlight that it is part of the sustainable development goal uh, under uh, the sustainable development of the urban urban development, right? As well as the life on land and life on on water. We mentioned about seabirds, so we did uh, some survey on existing product, and we noticed that um, they are they are uh, existing products, and they can be categorized into three areas, right? Three three main categories: the traditional one, the manual one, right? 
and the automated one. And we were trying to see how we can cut angles and position ourselves well in this market. And, and we did a few survey, all right? Uh, sorry, not survey, we did a, a analysis. And, and in short, we just like to point out a few uh, factors. All right, for traditional one, it's good, it's very low cost, but no storage, you have to pair with dustpan. Um, there is no continuity as in, um, once you collected the waste and you have to go back to the original position, dump it back to the dustbin, uh, dustbin all right, and then collect it again, or you have to carry the, the plastic bag with you. With the self-discharge and closed sweeper, we're known as an automated sweeper, it's very efficient in a way, but it's not suitable for Malaysia due to the reasons that we have mentioned just now. Also, uh, price plays a very important factor here. All right, so something in, in between is something we call as manual road, sweep, uh, road sweeper. They do have this product, but we 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 see we can improve this product um, uh, in, in a couple of areas. For example, the storage we think can be larger, and also and also the ability to sweep longer solid waste. Because we noticed that uh, if you want to make it um, a, a government project, for example, and to sweep all of the roads out there, right? So this is more likely to be fam uh, family friendly. Uh, suitable for medium-sized land yard, for example, uh, sorry, not land yard, uh, medium-sized land, for example, and, and around 40 litres uh, of, of uh, storage. But if you want to make it into a more public, all right, into the more um, national kind of project, then we have to think of a way how do we either increase the capacity or think of a way how we can continue this, or else um, this manual sweeper were to go from position A to B, uh, halfway through position A to B, it's full, and to go back to uh, position A, dump it in, and then continue from A to B again. So for that reason, uh, we, we survey some of the stakeholders and they include city councils, for example, road cleaners, road user, primary schools, secondary schools, and university. So you can look at here, we are targeting mainly on the buyers to government side and buyer to buyer side, B2B and B2G, all right? And we get uh, inputs from the customers, uh, from the public, so we call that as B2C. So, uh, as we all may know, last year, uh, uh, as a matter of fact, a few, few years ago, it was under tight lockdown and, and we, everything was done online. We don't have a chance to interview them online, so interview them physically. And, and this is our feedback. We did not get a response from the city councils, meaning the government, because it requires official approval letter from the Ministry of Housing and Local Government Malaysia. And uh, uh, the process was quite long and, and we couldn't wait it because we have to proceed from this stage to another and which is why we aim for that but we didn't get that but in short we get 1958 feedbacks from road user we could have got from from public uh primary school management 120 primary school management and 41 secondary school management participating in the survey so in short road users they say uh even though it's a lockdown 80 86 percent of them say, says that they travel daily and 52% of them scores a cleanliness three out of five, which means there's a room for improvement from road users' point of view. And they they do agree that sweeping brushes and rigs are widely being used, all right? Top rated in Malaysia. And this will just uh, affirms the statement, the, the case study that we have just uh, performed initially. For school management, we separate the primary and secondary school management because we want to know their spending habits, for example, in terms of cleaning costs, how, 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 uh, how far are they willing to spend? Uh, primary school will be larger than primary school and hence the reason why we separate primary and secondary. So the similarities is they are both located in Selangor and Negeri Sabilan, right? They score the school cleaners four out of five, right? So like um, much more better than road, uh, road users, right? And they have less than five cleaners in total. And they, they still, again, use sweeping brushes and rigs as they are uh, as they are in very much you know, provided by the school. But the difference here, we notice that uh, secondary school, of course, is larger than primary school in, in most cases, and they need cleaning hours. Interestingly, for primary school, it's two to three hours. For secondary school, it's more than three hours. Key, note to be, uh, key, key point to be noted here is they all have less than five cleaners, which means um, for secondary school, they would rather spend on equipment first than human labor. And, and it's ref reflected on their money cleaning costs. And, and most of them for primary schools, they say they'll spend less than 1,000 excluding um, wages for the workers uh, for cleaning products. And for secondary school, they're willing to pay one to three K for secondary school. So this is what they note, note the difference. And this is a bit too long. I just skipped all the you know lengthy one. I just want to come to, to this um, diagram. With that in mind, we, we know, okay, this is their spending habit, their cost is around like that. And how are we going to go about that? We came up with a few ideas. For example, uh, what we want, okay, let me want back this. E, what we want, I think in short, if I, if I could record it correctly, peak capacity, 
easy to be used, right? Not too much of, you know, technical stuff. For example, the automated is too technical for for certain workers, and as well as it is, uh, no hassle. As in, uh, there is no no noise pollution and yeah? not much noise pollution, especially when we use it in school. You don't want to disrupt the, the learning outcome, so the learning process, right? So the noise is something that we 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 take care of, and then as well as the cost, because it is something that's been reflected by our stakeholders. So we ran through a couple of designs, um, trying to modify how can we increase the capacity, but at the same time, um, uh, meet all the requirements by the stakeholders. So I just quickly glimpse through design number one, two, slightly different in the way we approach that. Sometimes we have two side brushes, sometimes we have one, sometimes we will have breaking gears, for example, if you want to make it secure. That was just part of the idea which we think it can be can be uh, useful. All right, and 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 rest of it is just how we position the gears, how we position out of the uh, bevel gears, for example, and, and which type of gear are we using? Are we using belt, uh, rope? I would call it a belt system, for example, to transfer out of the uh, energy produced, you know, while pushing the, the manual road sweeper. And, and we, we, we talk about how is it, how easy it is for them to remove, for example, this removable waste storage, they just slide it in and then they take it out instead of, they don't have to tie ribbons or whatnot, just slide it in, put it out. Uh, we, we, we think we're cutting in, in this angle and, and we're thinking, of, hey, how can it be more portable, for example? Portable is one 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 of the biggest issue, a uh, biggest key as well, because in Malaysia they rely on motorcycles to to transfer all of their uh, rakes and brushes. So if you want to invent something, we cannot expect <laughs> the workers to change from motorcycles to to cars and to carry this. So we are thinking of how can we make this portable even in light vehicles such as motorcycles. So we're thinking of a hooking mechanism where we can wrap everything around the motorcycle, hook it in the, on the motorcycle and carry it, just like the way uh, the traditional. Um, uh, sellers, how, how they sell ice cream trucks, uh, not ice cream trucks, sorry, selling ice creams on, on the motorcycle, right? they tie everything on behind, and you know, at the backside of the motorcycle, we just carry it along, and this is how we came across it. And uh, I know it's a screening process, uh, but I just like to summarize it because due to time constraint, we just like to play. Um, so, so how the did fi final exam, final, uh, final design is which one? Uh, these are the parameters, right? Effectiveness, yeah. weight, cost, storage. Uh, portability, coverage area, ease of storage, ease of maintenance, safety, any sharp edges, any protective cover, right? Um, types of waste, uh, meaning to say, um, could can they collect um, leaves and sand at the same time? As static as well. So these are the, the the parameters after discussing with the stakeholders. So um, we run two rounds of calculation. Nah, 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 nah. Our final design will be something like that. Our final design. This is what we have completed for Capstone One. Uh, this will be the the mechanism. When it turns, it will rotate the the brush in the middle and then sweep the the leaves and everything to the back side of it of the of the uh, pro project, right? And, and the back side of it will have this uh, storing mechanism to store everything. Uh, we include a, a safety feature with something that you can see on my cursor here. Uh, bring it right to the right of it. It's called a paddle brake, uh, just in case it slides down, right? Uh, if, if the if the angle of the road, right, yes, it, it's slanting, for example. So this is a few initiatives, and and how do we make the box? It is actually a box, but it's a foldable foldable box where you can fold it up, lock it in, and then we we're using this uh, torsion spring mechanism to lock it in at the side so that it stays as a box. It doesn't fold it back, and and this is where. Uh, if you ask the reason why there's a box up there is because normally when we collect leaves and sand, right, and suddenly hey, we have a slightly bigger branch, uh, branches, for example, tree branches, and it can't be collected, it can't be swept into the machine, oh, sorry, not machine, I shouldn't call this machine, it can't be swept into the waste uh, storage there because it's too heavy or it's too long, too big, for instance, then the worker can collect it manually and put it in this this box, uh, should, should it, um, should it is, uh, require it, you know, depending on the situation. So, so that's a brief introduction about the final design. Okay. Yeah, I mean so, the gun chart, the cost, uh, professional cost. Professional, we can uh, ignore it first because it's manpower. <laughs> how much we charge for manpower, but we are focusing more on the final product cost. Should be around one thousand. Uh, this is what we we aim, and and this is what we done a, not to say a very detailed calculation, but just a brief calculation through a research online because we can't go out as well that time. So yeah, that, that's all from us. Okay. Uh, Daniel, so, Harry, anything to add on? <laughs> no. I'll stop sharing. So, yeah. Harry and uh, Daniel, have anything to add on? 
so far no from my side sir okay so so my my, my style will be like that uh, if you're not presenting you you'll be the one who answer question for me uh, so okay uh i have a question uh, i have a question for harry uh daniel and also yeah okay uh for 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 the street uh street machine uh, street cleaning machine uh alfred can you can you open the file again okay okay i'll share the slide again so i just noticed that i turned off my speaker just now okay sorry yeah <laughs> yeah okay continue yeah but we can hear you all right uh okay daniel can you explain yes, your contribution in this uh, project? Which part you contribute? Uh, for me, uh, initially I did the objectives. The, the objectives. Uh, Okay, I did objective. the objectives, the uh, literature review, the literature, the literature review. Uh, I did partner with uh, with Hari, so mm -hmm. both of us did the literature review. Mm -hmm. and, uh, which 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 concept design come from you? You are thirteen design, so which design is from is yours? My design is the first four design. First four okay. designs are my came from then, my ideas. Oh okay, then another four is Harry lah, correct? Yes, another yes. four is Hari, and the remaining five is uh, is from Alfred. Okay, all right, good. Okay. Hmm. Okay, the next question will be for Harry. Uh, Harry, uh, your final design is design thirteen, is it? Correct. Uh, no, sir. My final design is. I mean the. Design. Okay. So you combine everything. Uh, you make you 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 choose the the best function over there, lah. Correct. Harry, yes, can sir. you explain about the 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 response? How you collect the response? Just now uh, in your group, you 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 get what thousand something response. How how you get yeah. all this response? Response. Uh, okay, sir. Since it was a tight lockdown, like we uh, like was mentioned by Alfred, so uh, we did an online survey where we prepared questions uh, using the Google form. Oh, okay. Okay, so, so we use the Google form where uh, the English was uh, did by Alfred and for the Malay part was done by Daniel and I collected all the school contacts and everything and I pass on to Alfred and Daniel. Oh, okay. So, okay. So means the Google form has two versions, is it? Y yes, in Malay and as well in Malay. Okay. Right. So how Malay. long you how long you spend to collect the 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 question air how long i mean from the first day you launch to the public mm -hmm. until the last day how long you you put it on online uh around one to two weeks around that sir but we was weeks, sir. yeah but we uh in between that we was also getting a lot of response mm. okay mm -hmm. all right good okay uh okay uh let me okay let me add a little bit on Okay, thanks uh, two groups uh, for your presentation. Um, okay, let me let me present my let me change. Uh. Okay, so I hope all of you can see. Uh, some PowerPoint at, at my back. Let me know if you're not able to hear me or, or, yeah. or see something. All right, so just check. Uh, so check uh, what is missing in your presentation. Uh? I mean, each one of you, you can, you, so you can check. Okay. Uh, okay, let me open the capstone design one slide. Uh. Sorry, let me. I'll open the capstone design uh, that you should have. Uh, then uh, 
Okay, as you can see, oh, sorry. Uh, Okay, as you can see, this is Capstone Design 1. Just, just check back whether you achieve uh, the expected outcome. All right. So let's see here. Okay, this is Capstone 1. So basically what Capstone 1 expected is that uh, you come up with a design and then you do some management uh, of your projects uh, and then uh, to produce a system for uh, either all this area, economic, engineering, safety, uh, environment. And in a presentation, do you consider uh, economic factor, safety factor, health, ethical, okay? And the process, okay? Uh, just now, both of you, both of your group, uh, both both group uh, or your presentation, uh, you got mentioned some design process, okay? Some design process. Um, and this this part is there, the concept is there. Um, and I see a lot of hand hand scratching, uh, hand scratching uh, uh, sketch uh, in, your, in your report. And number three here, modern tools. Okay, modern tools, meaning uh, okay, meaning that uh, uh, do you use modern tools for your design? Okay, so this is the part that I think uh, I think is missing. Then this one, uh, doing research, uh, doing research. This one, I think uh, uh, both of the group is doing the research, uh, collecting survey and all this. Um, one of the group, the response is not enough. Okay, the response is not enough. Uh, meaning, uh, if your response is only one zero or less than, I say maybe less than hundred response, uh, it consider a very weak uh, argument. Okay, so you need to check your research. Okay. So and also um, I haven't read your report, but based on your your presentation slides just now, um, you need to strengthen your argument based on uh, uh, engineering concept there. Okay. So uh, you both group got uh, you have done the background research. Uh, uh, very good. Uh, both both group have uh, done done background on uh, available um, producer, for example, uh, available uh, product out there. Um, however, it would be great if when you come to Capstone Design Two, um, you need to you need to put in what you learn in your program engineering program, right? So you're being taught a lot of uh, equation, a lot of uh, engineering concept, um, but I didn't see uh, the end, the concept that we teach you in degree since the first year until your, your final year. The, for example, thermodynamics and uh, all the equation, um, all the concept, I think is not covered. Uh. So in capstone two, uh, you need to improve in this uh, area. So let me open the. Okay, let me open the some two slides. Huh? Okay, so Capstone two slides. So basically, um, will be the implementation from Capstone Design 1. So uh, this is the, the, the opportunity for you to, to strengthen your, your gap, uh, meaning what, what, what is lack of in Design 1, and then you improve it in uh, Capstone Design 2. Okay, so just for, uh, okay. 
So again, um, later on, when you design for, when you present for Capstone 2, um, uh, yeah, I mean, uh, one of your presentation, you got mentioned the social, social problem. Uh, I think both, both group also mentioned social problems and all this. Um, however, the, the source, uh, the source of your research, you need to uh, not, you can uh, you already done the survey using survey online survey or or you go there uh, give the the uh, just now um, uh, trivia tri tri trivi uh, trivi trivia is it trivia bala are you there yes sir so uh, for your projects uh, uh, how you conduct your survey uh, we did uh, online survey so using Google Forms. Okay, so do you know what is the reason why the response is low? Yeah, because um, I think most of the workers, I think they couldn't, I don't think so, so whether they have their handphone, so why they couldn't like reply. So we only received uh, 13 response. Then for the mafia and farmer, we received only one. Yeah, so yeah, mm -hmm. so I think you need to improve on that. Okay, you need to improve uh, on that. I mean, for both group also consider, lah, huh? so also consider uh, when you done survey, uh, at least your your data pool should be. Uh, if you ask me, lah, I will give you. If you if you need a number for okay, how good? Uh, how many is good? I will recommend at least not less than hundred. Uh, not less than hundred respond. Okay, for 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 online survey. Okay, at least at least you can you can con uh, because you know when you do online survey, uh, you need uh, when you do conducting survey. You, you need to remove some uh, bad data. Bad data means uh, if the survey was not complete, then you cannot use the survey. Uh, so uh, because some question, some people don't answer that, that consider a weak, uh, a weak data. Because you, you, because later you, you, you actually you're converting the data per, let's say you are using, you are in investigating 100 sample of, uh, of survey. And when the person do not answer, he actually do not reflect the, the situation. So um, you need to be careful when you use a survey uh, method on that. Okay. Uh, yeah. So for Capstone 2, you be more on calculation, more on the, when it come to prototyping, you need to be um, uh, more on the modern tools. So what, what, what is happening in the, uh, capstone one. I I, th I, I can see uh, you have done a lot uh, for capstone one. So when it come to capstone two, what is the expectation is that to fabricate your design, okay, to fabricate your design. Now, um, just I just pose some question to to think about, okay. So the first is that um, uh, you you have come out the design and. How confident you are uh, when you when uh, how confident you are with your design? Okay, because uh, for capstone uh, design projects, uh, we will recommend or we will suggest that uh, we I mean or we would like to see that uh, your products that you design can actually we send it to competition. We can send it to uh, to people so that they can continue to use it. Uh, not just uh, uh, not just we, we see it as a school projects, but it's an opportunity for you to to showcase uh, what what is your what what have you learned uh, in your degree program? Okay, so um, okay, so for for the first group, you are doing the the, the star fruit collector. So um, the project title you need to improve a little bit. All right. Um, try, try like like before the presentation. You are using the picking uh, stuff, picking machine. So uh, try to use a better uh, description word wording for that. Maybe uh, stuff root, uh, stuff root collector uh, machine or stuff root uh, harvester machine. Like, right? Because you are comparing, you already have the available products. To compare for your capstone design, so then you tap on the idea, okay? You tap on the idea, uh, then you fabricate it, okay? Uh, so far I haven't received any funding 
for capstone design two. So uh, for group number two, uh, your costing is uh, around one thousand. So uh, in the in your in your costing there, what what I notice is that uh, because uh, for group number two, uh, your uh, group number one uh, that uh, presenting for the street street uh, cleaner machine or clean machine. Um, in your pricing or costing there, uh, do you put in the motto for your design? No, we have not, sir. Yeah, no, right? Uh, so, mm -hmm. so you see, uh, what is the mid? I mean, you have to consider what is the if you are engineering student or you are the designer, you have to understand what is the most important component. What is the most important mechanical component or system uh, in your design? Uh, okay, so uh, for example, I take group one uh, street machine. Your your most important, uh, not 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 most important, but critical part uh, critical part. For example, motto. So uh, so for when it come to capstone design two, you have to. Uh, be more specific. For example, what is the power that you need for your design? Okay, what is the power that you need? And also, when you do for the casing for your machine, uh, how you do it? Okay, this is when you come to capstone design too. So you need to consider the process already. So uh, later on, I mean this semester, you will do more thinking on the engineering design component okay so capstone design one is more on concept now you you need to think carefully on how you implement it okay yeah um i will i will ask uh, the faculty about the, the the funding if any right if not i think uh, for for the street cleaner machine that uh, topic I think a bit expensive but however um, what I can do to help your group is that um, I will try to uh, find a, a, a recycle motto you convert something that uh, something to to your projects means uh, because you do not include the, the budgeting uh, or you can relook look into your budgeting uh, so, uh, so because some of the parts you can uh, get sponsorship from from uh, maybe motorcycle or motorbike uh, workshop or uh, some places uh. so uh, yeah something like that lah. so uh, so start you need to start uh, think for this semester for capstone design two you need to think for your projects how do I get all these components uh, so I mean the the uh, after today, your homework is to always think how how do I get parts for my projects? How how do I produce it? Uh, so after this, um, for capstone design two, you continue with your grouping. Uh, what is your homework? Is that uh, you need to because your 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 you already come up with the design, then you have a lot of component there, right? You have the component, so you can distribute the the task to your team member among your team member. So start to think about uh, how to produce it. I mean this one, the process. Huh? How to produce it? What are the mechanical component you have, or what is the system, or what are the mechanical system or uh, uh, the system that you need, or is there any issue or not for that particular component? Okay, you can you can uh, because you have the exploded view of your of your component, so you can start thinking about that. Okay. You can start thinking about that uh, on the component side. Huh? Today, your homework, first homework, uh, try to think how you get the component, how to fabricate the component. If you need to fabricate the component, for, for example, the casing, uh, do, you have, do, you, do you have the bending machine and all this? Right. Uh, of course, you come to Manipal. Just, uh, just now I go to lab, uh, your workshop. Uh, actually, we have all the facilities. Huh? So uh, the technician is there. All right. So try to think huh? try to think I'll try to look for uh, information uh, because now I say uh, we are so convenient that we can go to Google just Google or you can uh, go to YouTube 
just type, for example, you need to ban some sheet metal or that one, you just Google and try to understand how, how you do it. Okay. Uh, so for example, for the star fruit uh, uh, pick machine or picking machine, yeah, there's lots of component there. So how do you fabricate it? Right? How do you fabricate it? Um, okay, so okay, jump topic a bit. Uh, uh, for the star fruit machine one, uh, Jaden, is it? Jaden, Jaden and Trivia. Okay, uh, Jaden, uh, for your group, right? Can you tell me some history? Why, why do you choose this topic? Uh? Why, why star fruit uh? and not mango, not rambutan, not durian? Uh? Why, why star fruit? Uh? Uh, so our initial, um, our our initial research in Capstone One, um, during the first month, was uh, most of our research was based on apple. Um, but uh, so we adapted it towards a uh, more tropical food that we can find in Malaysia. So the um, the reason for star food in, instead of mango is it's because it's one of the lesser uh, lesser focused foods, I would say, um, and not much of. Um, like technology or attention is focused towards star fruits as compared to you know durian and mangoes. So yeah, that's um, there's oh. there's no particular major reason, but uh, it's just because there's there's as, as compared to other fruits, star fruit is still like being left behind, okay. and still being uh, picked by hand. So uh, any star fruit farm around Nilai or around Audition or around where where are the star fruit farm that you can find? In Malaysia? Uh, I think there's uh, there's one in Mantin. It's near oh. to Nilai. Hmm. Oh, Nilai, you know where is it? I uh, know, Nilai, I'm not sure. So, but when we did research, I found in Mantin. It's near oh. to Nilai. Okay. And it's around KL. Yes. Okay, so what, what, why, why I asked that question? Uh, so, by the end of this uh, capstone design, uh, I want to, uh, uh, I wish to see that the the machine or the design is functioning. So you need to showcase that your machine works. Uh, so yeah. for example, for the star fruit uh, picking machine. So uh, if you say it's work, uh, you need to showcase, uh, you need to find a real, uh, Starfoot tree, and then you need to showcase. Not just like one video clip. You just plug one, one, uh, one Starfoot. Then that's it. No, uh. I mean in 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 my class, if you design something, it must be practical. Not just uh, okay for this module you do it. Okay, then after you graduate, uh, then your design you. <laughs> uh, yeah, just, uh, yeah. I, I don't want that to be happen. I want to keep your design in. I want to able to showcase your design like every batch or right? you can go you can put put your put your design maybe in the corridor or so that your junior see or this is my my senior design or no so at least at least something prop to show people okay uh, so I, that, think, that is, I think my team would probably have to go a couple of times before that also to do some testing yeah, yeah. i mean i mean uh, you Try to think about the the issue lah. Try to think about issue. Uh, if you if you really cannot find star fruit, I think I think there is lah. There is a star fruit farm there. Uh, okay, so because your your topic is star fruit picker, so you have to showcase lah. Uh, if not, then uh, you have to quickly uh, think about what uh, what what are the local fruit that you want to focus on. Uh, okay. Uh, so uh, I give you chance to 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 make some adjustment. All right. Uh, uh, the the I mean the 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 main the main purpose is that I want at the end of when you do showcase, uh, you able to show me actually it works, and uh, it actually able to help the workers uh, if you're designing for to lessen the burden of the workers and so on. Okay, so make make sure it works. 
make sure it works. All right, then, uh, yeah, so uh, the next one, the research and all this, uh, slowly I will brief you through. Um, okay, back to Capstone Design 2, modern tools. Huh? So uh, I believe all of you already learned about AutoCAD, uh, uh, CATIA software, or other uh, 3D modeling uh, software. Uh, we learned SOLIDWORKS. Ah, okay, so if you have SOLIDWORKS, then better, because uh, uh, it's more user friendly than the AutoCAD, right? So uh, can start to do modeling. Can start to do 3D modeling means uh, you draw, start to draw your final design because uh, the previous report that I see or the presentation, uh, you you are using hand scratching. So uh, we are now in the year of uh, 2021. Uh, soon we'll be into 2022 or 2000. Uh, 22. So um, it's okay you show hand scratch, but when it comes to entering program, I I wish to see you use SolidWorks, you use uh, AutoCAD, Katia to, to 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 sell your idea, huh? to sell your idea. Okay. So this module will expect you to do modeling, huh? to do uh, drawing and all this. So again. Um, you can you can start uh, distributing the uh, discussing on the component of your design. Uh, okay, let's say A take take care of this part, B take care of this part, C take care of this part. Okay, then uh, okay draw who draw who who going to draw this one? Uh, so it's the person who who really take care of that part. So you, you need to delegate your works. Okay, so you have uh, about fourteen weeks from now. To, to for your planning and you can start drawing or you can start uh, just come up with a few uh, simple design and keep improving right don't don't do it in the last minute huh? uh, because uh, you know your schedule right so when you come to when you rush for something uh, basically the quality will not be good and also uh, you will be stressed out okay you'll be stressed out and it will affecting other module also Okay, so this basically will happen uh, uh, for in Capstone Design 2. Um, another thing is that, uh, let me check your, your presentation just now. Okay, so as you can see our schedule here, so um, next next class we will we will talk about drawing. Okay, we'll talk on drawing. Uh, what are the expectations when you showcase your your drawing? All right. So I'll show you, I will, I will tell you what are the things that we're looking for. All right. So when you when you convert your 3D model into technical drawing, so what what are the components we are looking for? Okay, so yeah, I mean after this you can delegate your work, but when it comes to class, you can you can straight away focus on the component that you're in charge for. Okay, then you produce uh, progress accordingly. All right, then after that uh, we go for optimization means you you keep record of what you do. Okay, you keep record of what you do, uh, because after this you will delegate your works. Uh, that's let's say you have a uh, ten component in your in your projects, so you delegate among yourself. So maybe one person you in charge of three components. Then you start with uh, the, the, the first drawing uh, 3D model or, uh, or maybe 2D drawing for your component. Okay, so you then you keep the component. Uh, you keep the, 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 the document. Then after that, when we do, when I teach you about optimization, then you start applying what you learn in class. And when you go home after the class or after the class, you can practice the the thing that we teach you in, in, in the lecture okay or, or straight away you can or at the at the same time you can you can you can give example even you can present your idea in class so you can give example to to everyone in class so uh, i'll make it open when i teach uh, in class you can share your ideas right? for example i take care of this part so uh, uh, okay, Dr. An, can I do optimization like this way? 
or that way? Is it possible to do this way or that way? Okay, so I mean, you you start to apply all these concepts. Uh, then after that, uh, we'll do value analysis and also, and then you update your design and update your documents, and then slowly, uh, uh, then we come to bill of material. This one bill of material actually is a uh, uh, all the list, all the component in your uh, drawing. So this basically is is a teamwork uh, component. So basically, just group all the component uh, into one table. Okay, okay, or or in the drawing at the left left hand side or right hand side or at the corner of the track technical drawing, you will see one table there. Okay, that table is a uh, bill of material. Okay, uh, so uh, you need to include this one in your technical drawing. And then we we will uh, cover a little bit on procurement, uh, how to get get stuff. Uh, so you, you can start thinking about procurement. How do you how do we acquire the the component, right? And then you start to uh, go back. You start to uh, go to workshop and uh, I mean the uh, start to get your hand dirty to produce the prototype even in fact you can start before before week, week six already okay before week six you can start already okay when even when you start drawing or optimization state you can start with the uh, the first prototype huh? first physical prototype and then you, you you improve it improve 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 you change this one change, change that one so you can see uh, development one two three and so on then you 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 present your progress so at the end, um, you just compile your 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 project uh, report, compile it, uh, then you send it to me. So that, that is how we we, we do. Right? We don't want you to uh, last minute. Then only you do all these things. So we do it like uh, slowly, but uh, very very focused. Huh? slowly, and then uh, each one of you you focus on your the the component itself and then when it come to assembly uh, you 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 do it as a as a teamwork okay okay so this is how you do all right so I will uh, end the recording.